guys i'm back and i'm happy that you are back as well here on my channel if you're new here then welcome i hope you like what you get to see around here today you're gonna get to see a moyu london hall part one i will have two videos the first one will show you the review and the swatches for the new rectangular clear jelly stamper and then I have some stamping plates that I ordered. New ones, brand new are uh, mandala and doodles. The others are a little older. I will do a swatches video and a review video for those plates separately. Most of you know Moyu London. They are based in London in the UK. They ship internationally. Of course, I will link the Moyu London website down below. Also the links, direct links to all the products that I show you in this video are linked in the description box below. Moyu London has very good description. They give you measurements of the plates, of the stampers, of everything. So everything is on their website. Please check it out. It has been a while since I last ordered from Moyu London. It was the summer sale actually, last year's summer sale. Yeah, it's been that long. And I had still my welcome discount for when they launched their new website. I think this was October or September or something like that. This was still valid, so I had a 5% discount. Moyu London is on Facebook, they are on Instagram. They have a regular newsletter, so subscribe to that and then you will see all the information. They have sales going on, weekly sales. They have many bundles, manicure bundles, where they give you really good prices on different sets of polishes, of plates, of accessories. Check their newsletter or follow them on, on Instagram or on Facebook so that you get all these information. They deliver internationally, check out the prices. Lately, it's gone up a little. You still get the plates when you order a certain amount. For my country, it's like I have to order 15 pounds worth of products, which is three plates, and then I'm already on free shipping. This was all free shipping, but nowadays when you order polishes, they charge you for shipping because it's dangerous goods. As we all know, nail polishes explode all the time. I don't get it, but anyhow. Okay, a little rant here. We look at the rectangular stamper. Before all the clear jelly stampers came out, I loved rectangular stampers. I always used the Moyu Marshmallow rectangular stamper. Different reason. The obvious reason is <laughs> you have much less cleanup than if you use a round stamper. Of course, they are usually bigger. The other reason is also your pickup is easier if you are a newbie or if you are lazy like me and want a nice pickup then you use a rectangular stamper because it fits in the corner of the plate so it's easier to pick up images in the corner of the plates and as you can see you also don't get too much design from the side so you don't need to remove too much design here usually this works when you have full nail design this works great. The other thing that's usually very good with rectangular stampers is they fit very nicely in the stamper holder. We will have a look at that. Let me just get this other one out of the way. And can we also take a moment to see again how cute they are packaged. Moyu is always awesome in packaging. So it has this little box here. The stamper is on the box in the, the actual size. And then they have some kind of design on, I don't know what collection that is. So you get a scraper, here it is. It's flexible, but not too flexible. It's more like credit card, but smaller. I like the Moyu London scrapers. I have used them a lot in the beginning. They are nice and I love the little design and usually they are acetone resistant. We will see if that one is as well. Then we have here the little rectangular stamper. The rectangular stamper usually sits in the stamper holder. They usually have quite a big lid inside here where it sits on so it doesn't usually fall in and that's the same one with this here. So you can see it's 
squishy firm, I would say. It's not as squishy as a marshmallow stamper, but it's squishy enough that you can usually get your whole nail in. You can see it right here, you can see it right here. They have not opened this up here in the end. I would have liked that, but as you can see, you can see perfectly. So they don't have any line or anything going on here in the end. So you really see nicely through it. It's also quite big. So if you have long nails, this is here fitting nicely. Also, my thumbnails are quite wide. This is also not a problem. This also fits. So should fit every nail, except of course, if you have like really, really long <laughs> stiletto, whatever nails. What else? I always say this when I have clear jelly stampers. Never ever use acetone on these stampers. If they don't pick up, then they are probably like mine is. You can see it. It's not clear anymore. It's dirty. I fiddled around with it. I have hand cream on my fingers so i touch it and i go like oh look how it's squishy it is and then i expect it to pick up no it won't do that clear jellies are very very sensitive to any oil on the stamper head so if you have any oil on it from wherever you never know from the production from your own fingers it will not pick up do not fiddle around with acetone. Do not fiddle around with nail polish remover because if you have nail polish remover without acetone, they usually have oils in them to nourish your nails. So again, we don't want oil on that. Use a dishwashing soap to remove all the oil. So just wash it when before you use it the first time and in between just clean it with a lint roller. That's it. And you have to use a very, very light touch with these, not pressing too hard. It will not pick up if you press down like this. No, you lightly roll over your stamping plate or you lightly dip on the design to pick it up only really lightly, barely touching the plate and this will work. We will have a look at that. I have 10 stamping plates from 10 different brands. I have different stamping and regular polishes. We will test the stamper, how the pickup is. I will speed up the video now. So sit back, relax and enjoy and I'll see you afterwards.
guys I'm back and I think it was pretty clear to see this little guy took everything I threw at him all the stamping plates had a great pickup I didn't expect anything else Moyu London consistently has good product good quality product and the scraper I cleaned it with pure acetone look all the design is still there so that's no problem I had one problem with these little tiny tiny designs and the born pretty stamping polish this was my due to my fault I wanted to show you everything I want to go like oh look the nice pickup oh look how it looks like this and then these tiny images they don't have much stamping polish so they dry quickly of course and then I did it again you have to work a little quicker with all these small tiny things look here the summer everything is there the pickup was perfect and when I worked faster it was also no problem to transfer the designs without any parts missing. I show you two more stamping decals here. This is also pretty and you can see very fine lines. This was the Color Club, a holographic polish, not a stamping polish. And still all the fine lines are here so pretty. And over here we have from the origami plate all these tiny dots this is also something that not every stamper picks up that easily and you saw the rolling motion it worked just perfect and all these tiny little shoes there is no part missing in the shoes these designs are usually quite difficult and here also an example where you have a full design and you have a very delicate design with the butterflies but this design comes out perfect I think this says it all what do you think do you like it <laughs> I will certainly use it again more in the future now especially in the next video that's coming up with the swatches for the Moyo London stamping plates that I got so don't miss out on that all the information below in the description box check it out if you have any further questions just leave me a comment in the comments box below i'm always happy to read all your comments and i answer to everything i promise sometimes it takes a little longer a day or two but i answer to everything yeah that was it for today if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and relatives and whoever you want i would be happy if you do so if you haven't subscribed yet up here in the corner is usually a link same link is in the description box below so click that subscribe button then you won't miss any of my future videos and i would be happy because then i see you in my next one until then i wish you all a wonderful time wherever you are and tada